my wife and I had been praying for a revival in this country. And then Franklin comes along and announces the Decision America tour, and I went, perfect, I want to be a part of it. My role in the Decision America tour is just to be a presence, to pray with people, to encourage them to go back into their communities and to their churches and tell everybody that this country needs Jesus Christ and not any political party that's going to solve our problems. There have been times in my life when I didn't witness when I should have, and I didn't stand up for the Word of God when I should have. Now, I think I'm more usable to God because I'm not going to let those opportunities go by again. One of the, the privileges that Christ gives us is to go out and tell other people about the Gospel. Once you realize what Christ has done for you and the fact that, that He would take a, a sinner like myself and want to spend eternity with me, that's good news. And that should be the good news that we preach to everybody. How are you all doing today? Doing well? Hi, how are you? Fine, how are you? Good to see you. Our moral walls and gates are down. Before our nation can be healed, our individual hearts must be healed. God so loved this world that He gave His only begotten Son to come to this earth to take our sins. And on the third day, God raised His Son to life. Jesus Christ is not dead. He's here right now in Columbia, South Carolina. There's no hope for America outside of the church of Jesus Christ taking a stand. It's a very receptive crowd here today. They wanted to hear the message. I had a wonderful time today. I'm looking forward to driving to the next location and doing the whole thing all over again. I appreciate Franklin Graham just standing up and telling the truth in the public square. Jesus Christ is the way that we're going to solve the problems of this country. And if we don't get back to that, I'm not sure um, what's going to happen to the country, but I don't think it can be good news. Thanks for coming. Why we lift up Janet and Marilyn. We're so grateful that they came here to support Franklin and we pray the Lord that the message. Please welcome Franklin Graham. Thank you for being here today. We need today men and women to run for political office. I want you to begin to pray. I want you to get those prayer groups going. The only hope for this country is prayer. I want you to get back and pray it because we need God. We need godly men and women at the county, at the state, at the federal level, all levels. We need men and women of God. Advocate for God's truth, for His righteousness. Let's elect men and women to office who will lead this nation back to really being one nation under God. I spoke to so many people today that were so excited that we came here and did this. And they said that they're now inspired more to go back into their churches and their communities and spread this word. And it encourages me that this is part of what I want to do. This is what God has called me to do. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for coming. May God bless America.